Hey guys, I have a little bit of Baldur's Gate 3 and Larian Studios news for you today, so grab yourself a nice warm cup of tea and let's jump straight in. So a few days ago on the 21st of March, GameSpot released a video of an interview with Sven Vinke, the creative director and founder of Larian Studios. I'm not going to cover the whole interview, just the bits that I think you'll be most interested in, so if you want to watch the interview for yourself, the link will be in the description. So in the interview, they talked a bit about how well Baldur's Gate 3 has been received, what its development was like, what the studio's toughest challenges were, and the exciting future of Larian Studios going forward. And when talking about the future of Larian Studios, of course everyone is thinking about what their next game will be. And what is next for Baldur's Gate 3? Will we see brand new content expanding on the story of this fantastic game? And what about a sequel? Well, Sven talked about all of these things in the interview, though his answers might not be what a lot of us hoped they would be. When Sven was asked about the future of Larian Studios, he said that Baldur's Gate 3 was all part of a larger plan towards what he calls the RPG that will dwarf them all. So even with how massive and amazing Baldur's Gate 3 already is, this wasn't that giant RPG that Swan had planned, and apparently their next game will be another step towards that. That sounds really ambitious, <laughs> and I, I don't think I can even begin to imagine what this RPG that will dwarf them all will even look like, but it makes me pretty excited just thinking about it. This is, however, also where we got some clarity regarding the future of Baldur's Gate 3. Sven added that, with Baldur's Gate 3's success, everyone was telling them to work on a sequel and make DLC. And for a while, Sven and the team agreed with that, and in an interview with IGN, Sven had said that they actually started working on a DLC, and even thought about making a Baldur's Gate 4. After they had started working on it though, Sven kind of realized that they were doing this because they felt like they had to, because that's what you do, right? You make a game, you release it, and then you make DLC. Well, if you're doing something because you feel like you have to, it isn't coming from the heart. And that's what's most important for Sven and his team. Larian Studios is all about making big new things and not just doing the same thing they've already done before. So they decided to stop working on the DLC and instead started to move on to their next big project, something new. When Sven was asked about their next project, he said he couldn't say anything about it, which is completely understandable, but I am still really curious. He did, however, confirm that it is not Baldur's Gate 4. So, yeah, we won't be getting a Baldur's Gate 4 anytime soon, and if we do get one, it won't be made by Larian. Now, I am not going to lie. When I heard about this, at first, I was a little disappointed. I knew DLC isn't really something that Larian do, so it's not like I was expecting a DLC or anything, but with the wholesome yet somewhat ominous with their speech at the end of the epilogue, I really thought they were hinting at something. And hey, the reason I wanted a DLC, or maybe even a sequel, is because I just loved the game so much. And I, I just wanted more of it, you know? I just wanted to spend more time with these amazing characters and this great world. And I guess I was just a little bit sad that we don't get to do that. At least, not in a way that continues the story. But Sven did say himself that they did create a complete story. It has a start, a middle, and an end. And you know what? He is right. And I'm going a bit off script here, but you really don't always have to keep milking. So for lack of better words, keep milking something if it's, if it's finished, you know? And that is what Baldur's Gate 3 is. It's a complete product that we all enjoyed, and even though I want to spend more time in this world, it's just good the way that it is. I mean, I think it's pretty much almost perfect. This is... Baldur's Gate 3 is my ideal game, but that's beside the point. It's a complete, finished story, and it doesn't need more. Even if we, as fans, want to see more of it, it doesn't need more. And I completely understand that the devs feel this way too, especially after working on this game for six years. I mean, six years is a long time. So I completely understand that they too just want to move on to something new. After watching the rest of the interview and reading Sven's interview with IGN, I am honestly fine with it. I completely understand where they're coming from, and I respect them so much for being who they are as a studio and game developer. 
they're not giving in to corporate greed. And they're not just doing what the masses want so they can get more money. No, they're staying true to who they are and what they want to make. Which is simply good games. And hey, Baldur's Gate 3 is still here and we can play it whenever we want. As of right now, Larian are still working on patches for the game and continue to improve it, so it's only gonna get better. They haven't said anything about releasing a definitive edition for Baldur's Gate 3, so while I'm still hoping for that, I am also just very excited to find out what their next game will be. Since Sven said that they wanted to work on something new, I don't think it's Divinity Original Sin 3. And it's definitely not a D&D game either, so does that mean a new IP? I know that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Well, I think that's everything I wanted to say. I'm really not used to making short videos anymore, but um, it honestly feels nice after so many long videos, honestly. Again, I didn't cover the whole interview, so if you want to watch the whole thing yourself, the link is in the description as well as the link to the IGN article. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and, by the way, you guys? We're getting pretty close to 5,000 subscribers. Holy shit. You guys are awesome. I honestly almost can't believe how much this channel's grown already. And I seriously can't thank you guys enough. But I'll save all of that for a special 5k subs video that I may or may not be working on. But for now, if you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single one. And if you liked this video, let me know by liking this video. Or leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on all of this. How do you feel about Larian not making any DLC for Baldur's Gate 3? And what are you hoping their next project is? Are you still hoping for Divinity Original Sin 3? Or do you want to see a new IP? If you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Or join my Discord server and let's continue the conversation there. That's it for now though. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.